little bit further to progress now, I want to do some average ifs. Average if is just like average, but it allows you to do some criteria on top of it. So I only want to average test one results for defenders. So I'm going to go average if. The prompts tell me what it wants to know. Where's the range? There it is there, that's the positions. What, what criteria am I using? That they have to be a defender. And once it's met that criteria, what data is being averaged? I'm going to click on yo-yo distance. So if I close that off, it gives me the position specific average for defenders. If I want to make things easy for myself and just copy that down, I just need to tidy the formula up a little bit. First thing I need to do is make the range absolute on both the criteria range and the average range, but I need to leave the criteria open because when I drag it down, I want A22 to become A23 and A24. Cool. All right. I'm going to do the same thing here. And one of the very cool features of um, Excel 2010 is the ability to click inside a formula. So I'm going to go up into the formula bar, click inside it, and you can see the ranges have been highlighted for us. And so if I want to, I can just drag those around. So I'm going to drag that across to here because this is now what I want to average. The thing that I do have to change is instead of looking at B22, I still need that to be A22. Drag that down. Great. So it's a little bit easier sometimes than retyping the formula out. You can click inside it drag those cells around. Really useful when you're doing graphing, but uh, that's another story that we'll cover later. I'm going to do that again. Click inside the formula. What I'm averaging this time is percent change. And once again, the thing that I need to make sure of is A22. Drag that down. Just going to do a little keyboard shortcut here. Control 1 opens up format cells. I'm going to do percentage with zero decimal places. Great. One final little trick to have a look at, and that is an average change if. Now, this is uh, uh, really the same as, as average if except it's now average ifs, we can have more than one criteria that determines our average components. So I've written it down there, and really what it's trying to do is eliminate everything other than the people that we want. So I'm going to start typing this out. One of the things that um, is the most, uh, I guess, difficult to learn is that the order of variables changes just slightly. The first thing we have to put down is the range that we want to average. The next thing we have to put down is the first criteria, and that criteria is going to be that, excuse me, that they have a result. In the first test, I have to put things inside quotes when you're using um, things such as greater than zero, because if it's just a number, Excel understands that. As soon as you put an operator in there, an operator can be a greater than or equal to, it needs those quotes. Criteria range two is that there is a second value of data and the final criteria is that 
not only have they got two test results, but it's only capturing people that have got positive changes. So of the people that did both tests and got a positive improvement, what was their average? So it's certainly got plenty of uh, criteria in here, but average ifs handles it just fine. I'm going to do control one again, percentage, and drag down. There you go. So, a few things looked at today. Moving things along nicely. We recapped if error. We did some conditional formatting using formulas. Then we did an average if and an average ifs equation. So, all sorts of things to practice and learn. See you again next time, and uh, if you want any of these spreadsheets or examples, drop me a line. Thanks for stopping by.